gosh, she is awesome. Uh, she's, that's Linda from Be Well Fit. Her website is bewellfit.com. And like I was telling you in the introduction, she helps not just brides. She does nutrition and training services for men and women and a lot of people. But uh, one of their specialties, she has a, a business partner, Tanika, who was not here today. But maybe we'll have her on at another time. But they uh, they mostly do a lot of like helping brides and getting them ready for their big day. Yes. Okay, so excuse my sweatiness. No, I hate, I hate that part. <laughs> <laughs> Working out is hard. It's, I'm a sweater. I've always been a sweater. So I'm going to dab a little when we're talking. So, first of all, congratulations. Did you know that... Most people are going to get engaged between Thanksgiving and New Year. Really? The majority of people. So, for some of you, you just got your ring. For others, just wait. It's coming. So, I always get brides that want to know how to get fit and fabulous for their wedding. There are a few things. First of all, I'm going to talk about some mistakes okay. that people make. So, mistake number one is, actually, before we even get to that, the number one mistake that brides make is they wait till the last minute. I don't know how many people that come to me and say, I'm getting married in four weeks or in two months and I can't fit into my dress and my dress is a little bit tight or I want to look lighter, leaner for my wedding. Do not wait till the last minute. Start at the beginning. Start at the beginning. Get says, that ring, start working. Start working. So, it's actually, the amount of weight that people can lose, I always tell them to realistically, is two to four pounds a month. So, and that's to keep, do it in a healthy way and keep it off because you don't want to get married and then have the weight come back on again. Yeah, hot, hot in the picture, but yes. then... Yes, it's like, what happened? <laughs> so, start right away. You want to aim for like half a pound to a pound a week. Maybe two pounds if you're really hitting it hard. So, don't wait till the last minute. So, the second one is picking the wrong dress. Ladies, let's just face it, we're all different. We're built differently. Yeah. Add an athletic build. My business partner is a lot curvier than I am, and we're both beautiful in our own way, but we'll wear different dresses. So, because Chelsea Clinton just got married, you don't want to pick the same exact dress that she just got married in if you are a woman that works out. So that means you have more shoulder definition, you have more arms, you have upper body. So a dress like that might not look so great on you. So, fit for your body type. You know, pear shape, yes. fuller on the top, bigger on the bottom. Exactly. Everybody's, everybody's different. Everybody's different. So, if you pick the dress for your body type, so you're a winner right there. That means that you're going to accentuate the things that look great. And then the things you don't feel so comfortable about, you are going to be able to hide. So, the next mistake is not hiring a fitness or nutrition professional. So, you find out you're engaged. What do you do? You start calling a wedding planner, someone who specializes in weddings. For your cake, you're not going to get, you know, your next door neighbor, unless your next door neighbor is a phenomenal cake maker. You get someone who makes beautiful and delicious cake. So, for your body, hire a trainer. Hire someone like us. This is what we do. So, you don't have to stress about it. We'll tell you how to eat. We'll tell you what to do to get that body that you want. And that's something that you want to do because you don't want to wait till the last minute, as we talked about. And you don't want to stress about it. So, hire a fitness professional. And the next one is avoiding weight training. Women are always like, oh my God, I'm going to bulk up. I'm going to look like a bodybuilder. Well, let me tell you, those bodybuilders, they eat so different from you. They lift heavy weights. Imagine bodybuilders, like if they had to do this with the weights they lift, they can only do sometimes just one rep. You just did 20. There's no way you're going to bulk up doing high reps like that. And if you're eating like you're supposed to, you're not going to look like a bodybuilder. And if you have more lean mass, you're going to burn more fat. And you might be even heavier and look leaner. If I stand next to someone who weighs the same amount that I weigh and have no muscle and tone, they're going to look a lot bigger than I am. So more muscle, leaner, sleeker look. Yeah, I don't step up, I don't step on the scale because every time I do, I'm like, really? <laughs> that much? That's because she is lean and true. Yeah, she has muscles. muscles. So muscles are good. And they keep the fat burning going even when you're not working out. Even if, you, if you're just doing cardio, that's it. When you step off that treadmill, that is all you're going to get. That's your fat burn. If that says, 
oh, you burn 300 calories, that's it. But if you do weight training, you continue to burn muscles, must, uh, burn fat throughout the day because you have the muscles to work with. So the next mistake is ditching protein. We are a carb just obsessed nation. We're eating bread and muffins and pasta, kicking the protein. Try to have like some lean protein, some chicken, some turkey, some seafood. No legs is better, which means seafood. Um, but you can get some pretty lean meats out there. Just make sure that you get at least one portion of protein, like the size of a deck of cards. If you have to put it in your hands, no fingers, fits right in your hand every meal. And you should be having three meals with two snacks in between. It'll help you feel fuller and it takes longer for your body to burn protein, so your body's gonna work harder to burn it, but your body will store carbs if it doesn't burn it, and protein goes to do a lot of other things, so that means that you have a better chance of burning more fat and also staying lean if you eat more protein. And the number one mistake, actually I'm going down in a list, the last one that women make when they get engaged is they go crazy, they completely forget about themselves. They're not sleeping, they're stressing out, they're looking for the best reception hall, they're looking for like the best wedding dress. All worried about everything else except exactly. the, one, the most important the thing. The most important thing. And one day you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, where did the circles around my eyes come from? And I'm supposed to be losing weight, why did I gain 10 pounds? So, let me say something and make it clear. If you don't have a reception hall, you can still have a wedding. If you don't have a cake, you can still have a wedding. You can wear, I don't know, people have done it, saran wrap. <laughs> still have a, a wedding. I've seen naked weddings, no kidding. Naked weddings? Yes, I've seen weddings on the ground, I've seen weddings on the water. But, yes, it's oh, crazy. Oh. They're, they love scuba diving, so they got, they got married on the water. I was finding a, um, an officiant that can also scuba dive, it's gonna be pretty tough on that one. But what you wanna do is focus on you, because guess what, if you're not there, if you're not feeling well, if you're having issues, there's not gonna be a wedding. A friend of mine like got so stressed out, she burst the blood vessel in her eye the day before her wedding and had to go to the emergency room. No. She didn't have fun. She was medicated on her wedding day and with a red eye? With a red eye and she had to like Photoshop every picture. Oh. Talk about expensive for yeah. a photographer. So take care of yourself and everything will work out well. Alright, great. So uh, we just have a few minutes. I guess it's gonna the thing will turn um, off in exactly okay. an hour. So tell me, do you want to have anything else? Do so you want to tell people where to contact you? How to get in touch with Linda? Yeah. So if you need more tips, if you have questions, if you need some like sweaty like I am kick butt workout, you can go to www. The letter B as in boy W E L L F I T dot com. That's bewellfit.com. My name is Melinda Obar. You can also Google me O K W O R. Or you can give us a call at 877-319-1133. So you can contact us online, you can look us up on Facebook, we're on Twitter. So if you have questions, please by all means give me a call. And um, I do have questions that people have like emailed me and asked me about.